Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and uh, we are on our way over to the Sandfalls uh, to grab a super alloy because I am completely out of super alloy. And there's quite a bit of it uh, behind the Sandfalls. Plus, there is a cave that we can go through um, right about in the middle there or so uh, that'll have some osmium and some sulfur and some stuff like that. Uh, so. That's what we're going to do to get started. And then we might also run over to um, the, the falls a little bit later on because there's quite a bit of super alloy we can pick up off the ground over there too. The other places that have out super alloy just sitting on the ground are the lava biome and the weird silver alien biome. But it's a little harder to find in those biomes because... You know, it's just all, a lot more spread out, whereas it's very concentrated here and uh, on the path up to the waterfall. So we're just going to want to load up on this because we need it to, to make up, you know, quite a few things on the list that we need to make. So let's go ahead and go along here and keep finding it and picking it up. It's interesting, too, because, you know, with the sand and all that, it's... Sometimes you, you don't see it until you're like right on top of it. So you want to kind of almost do like a little bit of a sweep sweeping pattern to make sure you, you cover it all. Not really anything up here. Okay, here's the cave. We'll grab all the Oz in here. There's also sulfur in here, but we don't need the sulfur right now. We definitely need the osmium. We do need sulfur too, but we, we already have a pretty decent amount of it. And we have a renewable source of it too, whereas the osmium we don't yet. We will eventually, but we don't at the moment. There's a piece right there. Um, all right. Why don't we... And let's leave that chest there. Just because I want to take back as much super as we can. Sure love the new music. It's just beautiful. Okay. Another piece there and a piece here. Like I said, it's really easy to miss. It can be like two feet in front of you, and you don't see it sometimes, depending upon the the sand sand clouds and all that. These sand far falls are really cool, though. They're one of the neatest features um, in this game. And they've actually been in the game, I think, from the start. Uh, they definitely were when I played it back, you know, during the prologue or very, very early access release. They were there at that point. All right. It's starting to look like maybe we've... Okay, here's a piece. piece right there and it looks like a silicon okay so that leaves us with um, one slot left There's a couple of crates here, but again, I'm just going to leave them there because we, do, we don't have enough room to loot them. I have a, um, 
Did I just see a crate over here? Yeah, there's one right there. Okay. Uh, I've got the sulfur extractor running right over here with a little shed we can replenish our O2 in. Some extra sulfur going. Let's take that food right now. Okay. I'd like to... Here, while we're here, let's just empty this out again. I emptied it right before I started the, the camera, but we'll empty it again. That way we can get a full... Uh, full load of it. Uh, no, take the Oz first, and then we'll take a couple of pieces of sulfur. We can go ahead and drink one water now, too. That's a pretty decent load of super. Not too bad. All right, I'll see you guys back at the base. All righty, we are back home. Let's load up the super alloy chest and the osmium chest. And do we have room for any sulfur up here? No, we don't. Okay, so we'll put the sulfur in the overflow. Whilst we're here, let's go ahead and harvest all of these plants. I have been uh, making fertilizer. Oh, that's only 89%. Must have picked these more recently, I guess. Do we have bark now? We do. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. All right. We'll put the bark in the miscellaneous until we have enough to warrant its own chest. Uh, let's make sure the eggplant chest is completely full. Oh, it is. Okay. Put some shrooms in there. And... Um... I think what we're going to do is let's go out and get another batch of algae and make a few more fertilizers <clears throat> before we take off for the waterfall where we're going to be able to pick up a bunch more super alloy. It's looking good over here. Look at all this beautiful algae. Oh. Hmm, that's weird. Did I miss one before? I don't know. Looks like it harvested itself or something. Okay. Um, all right, so for fertilizer, we're going to need sulfur and eggplant. Let's grab the stuff out of the overflow first. We're missing one sulfur there. Um, we should probably make a chest for storing this stuff. We have some iron in here. No, there's actually no iron in there. Okay. Got three of those. Let's put this chest right here. And we can actually push it back a little bit. We'll call this fertilizer. Okay, now, um, do we did we grab all the extra sulfur out of the overflows? I think we did. Yeah, it's the eggplant that we got so much of. Nice problem to have. Okay, let's grab some more sulfur. Later on, we'll, we'll automate this so it's automatically 
you know, uh, manufactured. But for now, we of course, we have to do it to... Oh, we got more algae in there. Okay, let's keep going then. Grab some more eggplant out of here. There we go. Okay. Nice. Look at that. We got nine fertilizer. It is a beautiful thing. We'll put this extra algae in here. And we'll put the eggplant back in here. Actually, let's chow down on a couple of those too. We might as well, right? Let's do a save. Where are we at? 67%. Okay, cool. Um, all right. What we're going to do is we're going to take a... A bean for the road. We're gonna make ourselves some more O2 and some more and grab some more water. We can make O2 out and about. We cannot make water out and about because there's no more ice left. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. There's a couple places that have some ice still, but they're in kind of obscure hard to get locations so let's top our water off right now and let's take uh let's take three with us that's probably more than we need but i'd rather have too much than not enough you know what i'm saying save the game resume okay we are going to head over towards the waterfall um probably just trying to think of what the fastest way is to get there. You know what? Actually, there's still a few more supers here in the labyrinth. I, I spotted some the other day. Of course, this is a terrible time to be looking for them because it's dark as hell out. Um... Okay. Let's go along. I, I just want to make a, another pass along the labyrinth here. And grab as many more as we can. I know I've seen a few more over here. And it should start getting light here fairly soon. Yeah, there's one right there. Nice. been along here. Okay, so all of these over here are I think are clear. There's one right there too. Okay. And there's another one over there. Okay, so there's still a few more over here. We just gotta Nah, shit. Get up there. Damn it, Jim. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back over here. I wish we had like a... A boost. Uh, afterburner boost type of feature in this game. So when we have a big gap like that to jump across, we can do it. We can jump across little gaps like this, but the bigger gaps, not so easy. It is doable, but it's not guaranteed every time. I think we, I think we found all of the super over here. lost. Where the hell was that other one at? I thought it was right over here. Maybe it was over on this shelf. 
It's such a maze here. It's like a labyrinth. Yo. Let's go over this way. I see a piece right over there. Let's go grab that. There was that other... Okay, there's a piece there. There was another piece that was kind of across the way. But I took a wrong turn, and now I don't remember where the hell it was. It wasn't that piece. That's a different piece, but we'll get that one too, of course. I think it was that one there. Okay, so there's two over there. We just got to get over to that side. That's too long of a gap, I think, for us to... Scooch over. We can probably do this one. It, 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 we got it. <laughs> uh, that's a bit of a gap, too. Okay, let's go around this way. Uh, okay. made that oh is that like like a little island hmm, I don't know if there's a way over there how does one get over there there's got to be a way to do it Okay, let's just get a nice run here and go like this. Yowzers, we did it. Okay. Yeah, one more O2. Oh, <laughs> I guess we could have gotten over there from here, but that's okay. All right, so good. We've already picked up four more. But we are now out of oxygen, which means... Oh, there we go. Five more. Fan-frickin-tastic. There's a little ramp thingy here. Um, all right, we need to get over to our, oh, nice, a plant rocket. Okay, that's going to help with biomass. I don't think I'm going to make this, uh, never mind, we made it. Don't listen to me, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Let's get over to our shed and make another O2 bottle or three. Um, it's possible, too, that there is more... over on the kind of the western end of the labyrinth. I haven't really explored that. I don't think I have anyway. So we should go check that out. But let's grab ourselves some cobalt. We'll make our uh, we'll make a couple of oxygen bottles so we can stay up there. Oh, there's a whole mess of cobalt in there. Let's take a water now just to free up a slot. We still have two more, so we're good to go there. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can explore kind of the western side of the labyrinth, because I don't think I've necessarily done that, and we could we could potentially fill all the way up here. Okay, so let's go this way. I think now that this the surface here is green, it makes it a little bit easier to see the supers. I like green. Green is what we want to see in this game. It's all about the green, baby. All about the green. All right, I'm not seeing anything over that way. Let's 
go this direction. Hmm. Maybe I did uh, check this all out on the west side. It's just really easy to get turned around in this place. But uh, just kind of looking here, you know, I'm not seeing any more. Go across this bridge over here. I don't think we can jump that gap. We might be able to, but that'd be tricky. run along here. Oh, there's nothing that way. Alright, yeah, we're kind of on the western end of the labyrinth now. Alright, I'm, I'm going to say that we've We've retrieved the lion's share of this anyways. Is that... It's not a cave, is it? No? I guess not. Okay, let's go back to the base. We'll drop off what we have. And I think we'll head over to the waterfall. Because I want to get a massive amount of super to build stuff that we need to build. All right, we're almost to a full chest. We're getting there, man. We're getting there. Let's top off our food. At some point, I'm going to have to swap out some of these other eggplants to get some more beans growing. Any more bark? Hey, look at that. That's amazing. Okay, we got four bark. You know what we could do? What do we need to get to... Uh, I want to get to this heater, so we need oxygen. We're about halfway there, parts per billion. All right, maybe we should use what super we currently have and throw down a shit ton of flower spreaders. Because we have, we have three golden flowers in there that uh, could be producing a, a, a massively more amount of O2 than what they're currently doing just in those veggie tubes. Well, hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, what do we need to make those? Veg tubes. Yeah. Let's make at least three more of these so we can get those golden flowers going before we go after more super. We'll grab three of those. We're going to need, looks like, three magnesium. Three fertilizer. Tell you what, too. Uh, I'm going to go grab another batch of algae and make another batch of fertilizer. All right, let's get um, the extra eggplant out of here. We'll grab um, some sulfur. Two more eggplant. I get to start three fertilizer. We have enough to make two more ferts. Put two of those in there. We have one more sulfur. Uh, let's see if we have eggplants to harvest down here. 
One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to put beans back in these four. Just to kind of rebuild our own uh, food back up. We still have um we still have beans in here, but it is starting to get low, so low-ish. Alright. We'll put two of those in there. And we have everything we need. We just need to uh we just need more water. Let's go back here. We're going to grab three Tuscas out of here and replace the Goldens with the Tuscas. Grab all the water out of both of these guys. All right. Three more flower spreaders. Let's plop one down right here. Golden in it. We'll put one out here. And we'll put one right here. Okay. That should give us a nice oxygen boost. 772.8 parts per quadrillion. I love it. Um, That water is full. Let's take three water with us. And an extra O2. And because because the waterfall is so far away from here, we're, we'll, we'll do some huts along the way too. Oxygen is not a big deal, but we cannot make water out there unless we take enough stuff to make a machine. We only have one bioplastic. What what is the lake machine? Super. We could take the stuff to make this and put it in the lake over by the waterfall so we have a source of water in that area. Um, or for that matter, we could just make one of these, I guess. But this does twice as much water as this does. Eh, I don't know if I want to spend bioplastic nuggets on that. I'd rather spend those on more tier two algae machines. So, yeah, let's just make sure we take plenty of water with us. Hell, we'll even take four. That's more than we need, but I'd rather have more than we need than not enough. Let's do a save. Where are we at? 79.99%. Okay. We might uh, roll into the moss stage before the end of this episode. We'll see. Uh, we got an extra bean for food. Okay, let's go. We're going to go uh, through the Stargate area and uh, head over to the waterfall. For those of you who do not know this, there's a pathway that leads up to the waterfall. And along that pathway, there is a bunch of super alloy. And once we pick that... The only other two places that I can think of off the top of my head that just has it laying on the ground um, is the uh, the lava biome and the a the little you know the silver alien biome. I don't even know what the hell that place is called, but it's harder to find in both of those places because it's more spread out. Um. It is there, but yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot more spread out. Got a nice little lake forming at the Stargate here. All right, let's put down a hut here. I grabbed all the stuff we need. Just to replenish our O2. I'm not going to bother setting up a crafting station. Okay, let's go. Through the A-frame. 
the A-frame biome. That's not actually what this is called. I think this is called the dunes. Or just, yeah, I think it's called the dunes. Or no, that's the red desert. I think that's called the red desert. I've looked up some maps online, but most of the stuff that's currently there is old. Um, I heard somebody call this area the, the white desert. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but yeah. But I don't know what the the silver alien biome place is supposed to be called. Feel free to tell me in the comments if you guys do know. Yeah, this is the what I'm calling the silver alien biome. <laughs> this is a great place because it's got neolite. Or zeolite, sorry, not neolite. Pulsar crystals. It does have some super on the ground, but like I said, it's really hard to find it. Uh, it's got aluminum and a very good biome for pretty high-end resources. And it has osmium on the ground, too. And this biome is one of the two places where we can go down into the mushroom biome, which is a big underground mushroom cavern. We'll visit that at some point. We need to go down there for the Warden storyline anyway. We should have water over here now. Yep, we sure do. Look at that. Okay, cool. Inside that cave, there are... Uh, there's some equipment, like an exoskeleton and... It's, it's pretty low level stuff. It's like tier tier one, tier two stuff. But what you can do is you can grab it and bring it back and recycle it and get the stuff back. But I don't think you get anything more than just, you know, basic resources. So it's not really worth taking up slots for us to do that. At least not at this point. Something we might do later, you know, once we have a, a portal or something. We'll see. Replant our O2. Things are starting to turn green. Okay, so this is the start of the path heading up to the waterfall, and along the way, we should find some super. There's even a couple pieces down here. A couple, three pieces. more up this way doesn't appear to be uh what's that that's a mag okay yeah so we basically just walk up this ramp and we'll find super along the way and at the very top there will be a gold chest which we will loot because i probably will not come back up here for the rest of this playthrough. There's not really any reason to. And this will probably be the last easy pickings for super alloy until we start getting super alloy storms. And when those happen, they give you more than you know what to do with, which is a nice problem to have. Up here. No, okay. Of course, when we unlock the tier two extractor, we can also, you know, set that down in the super alloy cave and have a a renewable resource of it at that point. And um, I'm not sure how far away we are from from the tier two extractor. We're probably not too terribly far away from it. I don't think there's anything up here that I remember. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay. There's a piece. So by the time you get to the top, you 
you gather a nice little collection of supers. We're up pretty damn high, look at that. It's awesome. I think that's it for the super. Here's the gold chest. And oh, look at that an oxygen, a 500% oxygen multiplier fuse. That was worth the price of admission, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Um, okay. I don't think it'll let me set a shutdown up here, will it? Oh, never mind. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Well, let's go ahead and drink to free up a slot there. Um, we'll grab all of that and that. I don't have any iron with me, do I? Okay. Uh, I think that aluminum is just going to have to stay there because that's the, that's not that big of a deal. Or what we could do, yeah, let's eat. And then we can pick up the aluminum. All right, so we have one oxygen capsule. Just trying to make sh just thinking that, you know, are we going to be able to make it back home? <clears throat> with one O2 capsule because we, we don't have enough room to pick up the stuff to make another shed. Well, I guess I guess we could have if we dropped it all on the ground and picked it up later. What is... <sighs> the nearest shed I have is at, I think, the one that I, that's at the far end of the Stargate. Can I get there with a full thing of O2 here and one capsule? Probably, but I couldn't say for a certainty. So here's what we're gonna do. We have all kinds of sulfur. We don't need it. We can drink one more water. Uh, we don't need the aluminum. hate to throw the pestera seed out but honestly we don't really need that either because we need three we need this many slots to take our shed with us all right yeah we're gonna play it safe now again this stuff will actually stay up here indefinitely so i could come back for it someday i don't know we'll see but this is the safe play, guys, because, yes, I probably could make it all the way to the far end of the Stargate on one O2 capsule, but why risk it, especially with all this valuable loot and this especially in our inventory? We're not going to risk it for the biscuit. No siree, Bob. Let's head home. That rain is loud, man. We'll go through the lava biome. We'll come back here later. There's stuff here we can certainly uh, get, including obsidian, which is that right there, which we need for certain high-end uh, crafting stuff. But we don't need that right now. That'll that'll be later. There's a big crash ship off that way, and there's also a bunker. Here, just in case something bad happens, let's do a. Let's do a save. The lava in this game will kill you very quickly. It doesn't mess around. So yeah, we'll come back here and explore this biome at some point. Just don't need to do that quite yet. There's also a bunch of stuff to loot around in uh, these these little shacks here, too. And a, a pretty sizable bunker. 
that we'll check later. In fact, if I recall correctly, the bunker that's right here is probably the second largest bunker in the game. The largest bunker is um, Iklas's bunker over at the uh, crater. I think. Could be wrong about that. But that's what I think. That's what I'm thinking, man. We'll stop off at our little aluminum shack over here and replenish our O2. We sure have a lot of chests to loot. But, uh, you know, because we've waited, they're going to have better stuff in them. I, I'm probably at the point now, though, where I should probably start hitting them. Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll wait till we get to the moss stage. And then we'll start hitting them. Which we could already be at by the time we get back to the base. I don't know. Things are looking nice and green, that's for sure. I love this game, man. This game is so fun. <laughs> it's amazing. I like the kind of ripple effect on the train going up through in through here. You know, we should remember that there's a nice little flat area right up here for placing some machines. Man, it looks awesome. All right. We are home. Let's put the iron in there. Titanium and silicon, I think, are full. And we now have ourselves a full container of super alloy plus quite a few more, which we're going to put in, we'll just put it in this overflow. That is awesome. How are we doing? 92% of the way to the moss stage. It's amazing. How close are we to here? That's 63. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there, especially if we put this, um, um, optimizer machine down with the fuse. The tier one can support up to five devices. We really want to make sure it's hitting the flower spreaders, though, as opposed to the grass spreaders. So we might need to move a couple of those around. Let's grab all the water out of here. What is this overflow for? Yeah, we'll put the waters there. Uh, let's stick you and miscellaneous. We'll put the fuse in there for the moment. Uh, we got another golden seed too. Let's put the food seeds in here. Eat one of those to top off our food. Grab some bark. All right, what do we need to make the tier one optimizer? That stuff. Ooh. Do we have stuff for a uranium rod? Ah, shoot. That's what's going to kill us on that. Damn it, Jim. Well, I mean, I guess I, I could call a, a uranium rocket down. Uh, it's just going to help our heat anyway uh, by doing that. And we have an extra rocket already, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. So I think we need a rocket, three cobalt. And one or two supers. Don't remember how many, so we'll grab two. All right, let's go launch a, a uranium rocket. That way we can make the rod and then we can make an optimizer and then just absolutely kick the crap out of our oxygen production even more. I need to get some other rockets 
going though too. Uh, you know, for heat and for we got the the plants rocking now, so that's a biomass um, booster. Let's see if we can pull most of the meteorites over this way. Look at how green it is here now. This is amazing. Very cool. Looks like that one hit right on top of our base. Ah, uh, damn it. I can't get him up there. Come on, game. Don't be doing that shit. I don't think I can get up on that plateau there. Maybe we should move the rocket launcher, like, way over here. Right, we have a couple more coming down. I'm going down into the frickin' canyon, even though I'm all the way back here. Irritating. <laughs> oh well, that's alright. Not that big a deal, actually. So we just need to gather enough uranium to make one rod. Of course, I'll gather all of it, but... Uh, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to wait for the debris to clear. I'm going to reposition our flower spreaders so that when we do set the optimizer down, it's hitting all five of them and not any of the grass spreaders. And then our oxygen should just skyrocket. And we want it to skyrocket because it's the oxygen that's going to get us to the tier four heater, which will then in turn allow us to start really boosting the heat a lot. And that'll get us to the nuclear fusion generator and to the tier two optimizer, which is even better than, of course, the tier one. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit.